very complex, interesting, unique scent. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome back to the channel. Um, I, I, it's been a while, but uh, I have some Lush items. You know, Valentine's is just around the corner, and Lush has released their Valentine's collection. It came out a little bit ago, but I finally went in store and picked up some items. So let's see uh, what they have in store for us for this year's uh, Valentine's range. Because, you know, love is in bloom. It's I hope you like the, that little Sabrina clip. Um, and Valentine's always makes me think of the weird Sabrina the Teenage Witch episodes because um, I'm 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 that old to remember it. Anyways, let's go on. Let's just see what I picked up. I didn't pick up everything because there's a lot of items and I didn't want to buy it all. Um, no bubble bars. You know me. I'm not big on bubble bars, so I didn't pick up any of those. Um, there was a couple Lush melts. Um, I thought about getting them. Uh, which one was it? There was like a jasmine one. I wanted to get that one because I do love the scent of jasmine. Um, the Queen of Hearts one, I think it was too rose forward for my liking, so I didn't want to get that. Um, the Shower Jelly, the Lips. Um, I didn't pick that one up uh, because I already have too many shower jellies that I have to go through, and I didn't want to add another one. Um, I can't remember what the scent was, but I know it smelled nice. Oh, the Passion Fruit Delight, the the squidgy uh, body wash uh, that's like marshmallowy texture. I didn't pick one of those up only because last year when I got it, it went like super rock hard. So I was like, is it going to be the same like experience this year? Didn't need to pick it up anyway because of another item that they released this year that is equally as good, if not better, and it's in the bag. What else? Oh, the uh, posh white chocolate and rose did not pick that up only because it has rose in it and I am not big on rose scents even though when I did smell it it did have a stronger scent of the white chocolate I didn't want to risk it um, but I did get a sample of it because I wanted to try a sample of it and I think I didn't get the, the lip scrub oh the frog face mask I want to get the frog face mask um, I don't think they had it when I went in um, or I just completely forgot that it existed. Um, but yeah, so let's just do dive in and see what I did get. Let's start with the bath bombs. Because you know I had to get the bath bombs. So here they are. So first one is the Love Letter Bath Bomb. So this is a cute envelope shaped like bath bomb. Just you know, it's to hide a little love note. And I think there might be something hidden inside of it when it unfizzes, but the scent on them, oh, it's a beautiful strawberry fruity kind of scent on this one. I'm trying to think if this is reminiscent of like um, the Cinderella bath bomb from I think a couple Christmases ago. That's kind of, I, you shall go to the ball. Maybe that's what it's like. Or the strawberry crumble. Um, bath bomb or not bath bomb bubble bar but either way it was a fruity strawberry scent and i deliciously loved it so i had to get that one it's just adorable i like that it's like a little hidden envelope with a note inside the next bath bomb that i grabbed this is the a whispering heart bath bomb so it's got a little hole inside um that you could write like a little hidden message and you know, if you're giving it as a gift, you could write like a little, I love you, or you're my Valentine, anything inside. In the past, Lush actually used to put like a little uh, slip of paper on them, like uh, when they did those uh, flower bath bombs for Mother's Day many years ago, or the Love Train bath bomb. Oh, why didn't they bring Love Train back? Hmm. They did bring back Love Bug. I don't have it, only because I've used it too many times, and I wanted to try the new stuff. But yeah. So this is the Whispering Heart. So you can see there, there's a heart shape on the top of it. And the scent on that one. Once again, um, I don't know what the fruits are, but it's a fruitier scent. So they are leaning more towards the sweet scents um, on this range versus florals. Not say that there isn't florals because there are plenty of florals on like the bath melts. Um, so yeah, if you like fruity scents, um, sweet, fruity. It's like cherryish, 
almost. Not like the cherryish lotion that was out, but there's like a cherry note. I smell cherries. But either way, I'm looking forward to using that one. Is the Love Potion Bath Bomb. It looks like a little potion bottle. Nice purple, because you know I like purple. Um, and like the little candy hearts. Very adorable. And the scent on this one, I grabbed two of these because as soon as I smelled it, I loved it. Oh, apparently. So this is the Kiss Scented. Um, I'm not fully familiar with the Kiss Scent from Lush of Years Gone By. But it has like a berry-ish smell to it. Like kind of like a mixed bag of berries. Oh, it was so good. But that's why I bought two of them. Um, but they're also small. But yeah, so if you like a creamy berry kind of scent, almost Space Girl-ish, but not being Space Girl, that's kind of what this is giving me vibes of. Mm, so good. Um, the one bath bomb that my shop didn't have that I wanted to get was the Big Squeeze. Um, I'll put a picture of it over there. Um, but the Big Squeeze bath bomb. So it is was supposed to be... Okay. Stick around for a second. So the Big Squeeze Bath Bomb. It's two different scents depending on where you are in the world. Um, I don't know if that was by accident or what happened. But in the UK, it is the scent of the Vampire Kisses Lip Scrub from Halloween a couple years gone by. So it's supposed to be like a grapeish like scent to it, which I was so excited for. My shop didn't have it. Um, and then I came to the re I didn't come to the realization somebody else noticed that the ingredients lists were different for North America versus other parts of the world so ours is a more floral kind of scent so it's the Christmas Eve scent which is like an old classic Christmas classic from Lush so don't know what happened there don't know why it's two different scents I don't know Either way, I couldn't get it because they didn't have it, and I really wanted to, and I'm sad that it's not the Vampire Kiss scent because I was looking forward to something grape scented. But what are you going to do, right? Moving on. Okay, so the other bath bomb that I got is the Love Burger bath bomb. So this is a, I guess, gift set, kind of. So in the same vein as the SpongeBob burger that came out, they made a Valentine's edition. So... Let's open up the burger box and take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so after undoing it all, I must give them credit for this intricate packaging um, where everything was just kind of locked into each other to reveal the uh, bath bomb burger on the inside. But there it is wrapped up as if you got it from a fast food restaurant. And we'll open up the burger itself. And there it is. So adorable. So it's a multi use bath bomb. And I don't know if the kid, there it is. It's going to say lush on the one side. That's probably the bottom. And then the top. It says, fancy a bath. Kind of like love hearts. But how these work. Um, top and bottom are the buns. And they are bath bombs. So these are like a cherry-like scent. Oh, oh, that's so delicious. Oh, super sweet, super cherry-like. Mmm, yum. Um, but don't eat it. And then, oh, that was, this is cute. So there is two soaps and they cut the tomato to look like a heart and that's the lettuce and this is the rhubarb and custard scent mm. once again fruity and delicious just like me <laughs> i'm funny um and then the burger patty that is a bubble bar and this one is oh it's like a lemony scent Mm. So you're going to have like a complete like fruit salad like experience if you use the whole thing. So once again, bottom bun is a bath bomb. Bubble bar burger. So you're going to crumble that up in the water. Let it foam up, make bubbles. You can use the lettuce and tomato soap to wash yourself. 
and then you have another bath bomb burger bun to go on top and there you go the bath bomb burger or the love burger gift set for the valentine's collection adorable cute okay so moving on from the uh, bath bombs um oh i got a soap what's left without soap right so this is my little chia pig my little chia piggy i think it's what it's called it's adorable look at that little cute piggy face now there are two versions of the soap depending on where you are in the world some people have most people have the pig but some markets have a little bear um but yeah so that's the cute little adorable pig and a snout almost even has a little heartness to it and so does his ears so this one has chia seeds throughout, so it's going to give you a bit of a, a scrub exfoliation while you're using it. And the scent on this one is supposed to be super milk-like. I don't fully smell super milk. Okay, I lied. I do smell super milk now. When I was in store smelling it, I didn't fully smell super milk, probably because you're inundated with like 8 million other scents. Um, there are a few other soaps that came out. I didn't get them because... I don't think I was really too keen on the scent on them. There was a, I know there was a strawberry one and possibly another one. All I know is I like the look of the pig and I like the scent because that super milk, it's like creamy, sweet, a little zesty. I think there's like lemon in there. Hmm. It's gorgeous. I love it. And it's a little pig. So cute. Next up, and I alluded to this one before. It is the uh, Passion Shower Gel. So this one here is, there it is, uh, Focus. So this is brand new this year. Um, oh, look, my nails kind of match it. Um, it is sparkly. They have a new formula that they're using for their shower gels to make the, um, the glitter that they put inside there more suspended so that way it's not all falling to the bottom. Um, which we know happens all the time with Lush Shower Gels. But the Passion Shower Gel smells exactly like the Passion Fruit Delight, in my opinion. Some people have said it smells different, but to me, it smells exactly the same. And that's why I went and got the medium-sized bottle versus the small one like I've been getting lately, just because I love the scent. Um, so I want it to last longer, and plus I have all my other ones to use. Um, will this come back? I don't know. I hope it does next year, because fantastic scent passion fruity sweet delicious oh you won't regret this one unless you hate passion fruit then you won't like it obviously but yeah so what does this actually say so this says a lather in a fresh red rose infusion i don't smell rose in it because i don't like the scent of roses it's too strong for me mixed with a mesmerizing luster and sweet passion fruit juice so there is actual passion fruit juice in this so yeah do yourself a favor. If you like passion fruit, get it. If you're unsure because of the rose scent, don't worry about it. You can't really smell the rose. So yeah, only a few more items. Three more items. They made a new lip butter. So this is the a Crush Lip Butter. It's just a little crush. On a tangent. So I love the lip butters from Lush. I used to buy them when they were in the little pots. They still make them. Key Lime Pie, one of my favorites. Honey Trap also really good but these ones are in the more convenient tubes they are very moisturizing and hydrating on the lips so if you're looking for one I, I wouldn't hesitate to get them i definitely do like them better than like chapstick brands i just find these do a better job um, they are obviously more pricey than chapsticks but to me it's worth it if it's something that works for you and you like it but this one is supposed to be the there it is there nothing too fancy just twists up but this is supposed to be um the celebrate uh scent so it's going to be kind of champagne uh grapefruity citrusy it's it's a classic scent from lush and the fact that they have it in a lip butter now mm, so good mm, really good really nice um i'm not going to put it on because i don't want to look like a fool trying to put this on so two more items, and I'm leaving the two most, well, they are on the pricier side, but the two more fun items to the end. So they are scents. So like I said, Lush has the wax melts, which you'd use as a 
uh, wax melter for a room fragrance, or you can use them in the bath if you want to have like a bath oil in there. But they released a pillow spray. So this one is here is called Good Night Sweetheart. There it is. Um, it, it only comes in the 15 ml bottle. And so I don't know what would stop people from using this as a fragrance if they wanted to. I don't know what the full difference is. It could just be alcohol content. Um, but this one, okay, polarizing scent. You're going to love it or you're going to hate it. If you like jasmine, you're going to love it. If you hate jasmine, stay away from it. This is so jasmine forward, it's not even funny. Um, and like I said, I do love jasmine. And as soon as I smelled it, I knew I had to have it. It's a great calming scent to me, which is perfect why they made it a pillow spray. So you can spritz it like on your sheets, on your pillow before you go to bed. Give yourself a little calming scent. I know some people even spray things on their little squishmallows to give them a little extraness. But my guys are just there to keep me company. Um, but yeah, so what else is in here? You, th you, th <laughs> you think my eyes are going to be able to, to read that? Um, yeah, so main scent note on that is Jasmine. That's all I'm going to say. If you hate Jasmine, avoid it at all costs. Then the other one. So Lush has a new fragrance, a new perfume that came out for Valentine's Day. And it is the New Romantics, because they were the New Romantics. Swifties, this is not based off the Taylor Swift song. Um, I like to believe that it was named after a Taylor Swift song, but it's definitely not. Um, so when Lush created this scent, they wanted something that would, would evoke the New Romantic era of music. So we're talking like almost like 80s synth pop kind of the sound um so it's it's a it's an era of music that was kind of originated out in the uk um so yeah it just so happens to be a taylor swift song that i love and a lot of people love from the 1989 album new romantics it is an interesting set um reading online i know a lot of people dislike the scent but then a lot of people love the scent so once again it's one of those polarizing scents that either you like it or you hate it I think I don't really think there's an in-between on it um now scent wise so there is orange Devana oil pimento berry oil what is a pimento berry I think of pimentos as that red thing in in an olive which is bleh, um and cinnamon um very complex, interesting, unique scent. When you spray it, you are just like, I don't know what I'm smelling. And then you're like, oh, I kind of like what I'm smelling. I, now I'm not so sure. No, I do like it. Like there is layers, 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 layers of scent on this one. The cinnamon and the orange or and the Devana probably because the Devana is what's just going to give it the more of a, the, the sweeter note to it. It's like a spicy, sweet scent, which I just love. The fact that it's like spicy, yet compellingly sweet. It's like contra it's contradicting each other, but in a way that is fantastic. Um, so to me, I love the new romantic scent. But I know a lot of people are like, Ugh, what was that? But that's the thing. Scent is particular to every person everybody smells things differently what one person's gonna love somebody else is gonna hate vice versa it's a very personal thing and it all depends on how it works with your own skin chemistry too because like you can smell it in the bottle one way spray it on your skin the way your body chemistry is is going to react and make it smell differently um, i tend to spray a lot of it on my clothes instead um, just because i find they have more staying power when they're sprayed on uh, fabric but that's just me um, so yeah, it, if your store doesn't have it and you're on the fence, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's an expensive risk. If you buy it online, yes, you can return it. Um, but spicy sweet, I, I enjoy it and it's only available right now for the Valentine's range. So once it's gone, I doubt that it's going to come back. So, you know, Lush always does their limited edition sense, but you know, give it a try if you're in store, see if you like it. 
Um, but yeah, so that's it for the Lush Valentine's range. Um, did you guys pick up anything? Um, what did you think of it? Um, are you excited for what's still to come for this year? I know we're very early on into the year and we know Lush is always doing new releases for all the seasons and kind of holidays and stuff that are coming up. Um, I know in the UK, Mother's Day, I believe, is soon versus us. That's not till later on in the year, like May-ish. Um, but yeah, so those, it'll probably be a split release. The UK is probably going to have it then, and then we're going to have it at our Mother's Day. But maybe they'll do it as a spring release. I don't know. I don't work there. I just like their stuff. Um, what else? Um, oh, spoiler alert for the Mother's Day range. There is a shower gel coming out called Snuggle. Um, and if you're a fan of Butterball, it's going to be for you because it's Butterball scented. Um, but yeah, so that's really all I got for you. Um, comment down below what you guys thought of the Valentine's range, if you picked anything up and what were your favorites. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to stick around and see more, give the channel a subscribe. And, uh, you know, we'll see you in the next video whenever that will be because I don't have a set schedule on when I post. Just kind of when I feel like it. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy it. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye.